Celeros is a new Hyperloop startup. They are a combination of entrepreneurial engineers, researchers, and business people with more than two years of experience in developing Hyperloop technologies. Together with a board of advisors and with members of industry, university, investment, and finance fields, they are building a united Spanish front for the future of transportation. So hi, Juan, and welcome to In the Hyperloop. Thanks so much for joining us. Hi, nice to meet you, and yeah, nice to be with you. Thanks. So I mentioned briefly in the introduction that you are Chief Marketing Officer with Celeros. Can you tell me about uh, Celeros and your role and how does it fit in this new Hyperloop uh, company? Yeah, that's right. We are Celeros and we are a company that is uh, developing uh, sustainable transportation technologies, um, high speed technologies that will revolutionize transportation inspired in this Hyperloop movement that we believe is the, the future of, of transport as we know it. Cool. So how did you get um, interested in Hyperloop and how did you find them? Well, it, everything started when we saw the, the competition of Elon Musk in 2015. We were a team of, of three or uh, five people in, in Spain and we decided to, to join. We have already joined some competitions in the past, such as NASA space apps and building mm -hmm. rockets and robots. Wow. So we decided to, to just, uh, why not uh, try for this? And we started, um, well, we, we proposed a, a theoretical concept for the first competition, Design Weekend, and we got Top Design Concept Award and a Top Propulsion uh, and Subsystem Award. Mm -hmm. So that, that was for us a really good motivation to keep pushing. So we, we decided to just form a team of, um, of about uh, 25 to 30 people wow to keep pushing and to keep developing and make it real. Wow, that's, wow, that's, that's quite a passion for, and keeping at it over all these years. That's, <laughs> it's, it's not yeah, easy. that's right, yeah. yeah. So how did you become interested in forming a startup um, as, a, as a Hyperloop company? Well, uh, thanks to the university competition, we believe there was a lot of potential and the companies became interested also in, in knowing more about these technologies. So we decided to and develop uh, our own technologies uh, also with the collaboration of the companies because we believe in, in Europe there are many companies that already have some experience in, in, in the several subsystems and a good point would be to focus on this collaboration of companies in order to make this uh, uh, much more faster, mm -hmm. to make uh, an acceleration of this development process and to bring the, the Hyperloop system as fast as possible to market. So we believe there is a huge potential in Europe and that's that's a bit our focus, no? our, our point of view. Yeah, that's, that's a very good point. There's a huge wealth of, of industry insights and, and technologies that just need to get, just need to be get melded together <laughs> in Hyperloop. So yeah, that's it. That's cool. Um, so how does a future uh, with Hyperloop or other high-speed um, transportation technologies like affect both rural and urban communities? Well, we, we believe um, urban population keeps growing and will keep growing. And we have some means of transport, but they are not efficient enough. So we believe uh, having a more sustainable transportation system uh, that can reach higher speeds than current transport system to date, such as uh, Maglev, for example, mm -hmm. it could uh, greatly improve uh, this connection between um, urban cities. I think in rural communities, it's more difficult uh, for them to, to join this, this concept because Hyperloop is mainly for uh, mid distances, about 500 kilometers, hmm. but there are also other options for rural communities to, uh, to, to connect these, these communities with the urban areas. And we believe also there is a high potential for transportation of cargo which is also one important thing. If we are able to connect logistic hubs and uh, make, make, make it much more efficient uh, in terms of, of electrical power and ener energy needed to move, move the goods, mm -hmm. we, can, we can have a, a really good solution. Mm. Yeah, I, I, think, um, I think the press usually sees like people in the pods, but this is a huge solution for cargo as well. 
um, and I'm, I'm glad you're working on that. So, <laughs> so Juan, um, in your role as Chief Marketing Officer, what are some of the biggest challenges that you face? Um, well, one, one of the biggest challenges is to, to, um, to introduce the, the concept of Hyperloop to people because usually uh, people uh, are used to, to, to watch films and, and to see Futurama and they believe they are going to yeah to go very fast and yeah. it's gonna be uncontrolled and but yeah. but what yeah. we try to 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 do is like to tell them that this is already a reality and there, there are a lot of technologies that are already in the market that could be applied to this transport system mm -hmm. and that in the end it will be an evolution of the airplane as we know it mm -hmm. because uh, we we will um, mix the airplane industry with also with the railway industry and also the infrastructure industry that are already very developed uh, to date mm -hmm. and sometimes the the hard part is to to tell the people about this and to to tell them that it is already happening it's mm -hmm. not something that it's about 20 years uh, uh, from now uh, yeah, it's gonna yeah. it's happening now uh, i think i think you're really right about the mixing of these different you know aerospace engineering companies but with infrastructure companies and it it really requires all of these different technologies and systems and and mm -hmm. industries and um, yes. so you, you've talked a little bit about the challenges of kind of telling people how it, you know these different industries are involved um, what do you like working about um, working in a hyperloop community and or in your role in particular yeah what what we believe at Teleros is that a uh, hyperloop has a lot of potential we are developing technologies that are uh, now uh, new and that are uh, applied to a very different field uh, for example, with compressor technology, aircraft technology, uh, now we see that the market is going into electrical, and we, we believe this is a, a really interesting uh, field to, to work in, uh, because in the end, uh, uh, we are on, on the, at the forefront of the technology, and this is really enriching. Uh, the whole team is, is really motivated, and they always come up with new solutions, and that's, I think, the, the most important thing uh, now, no? like, to, to keep motivated and to, yeah. to keep uh, developing new ideas because this is in the end as the 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 flight race or the space race uh, yeah. there is a, a lot of brainstorming and from that this brainstorming come a lot of good ideas also yeah. bad ideas but yeah. in the end we try to focus on the good ideas mm. I think you touch on a really important thing is that um, yeah you guys are working really hard <laughs> and um, you know, and there's so many different, uh, you know, ideas out there and trying to kind of pick on one technology path and a new, in a new industry is really difficult. So <laughs> it's, um, it's not easy. Um, so yeah. do, you, do you see, um, and you probably kind of answered this already, but do you see Hyperloop replacing, you know, weekend getaway trips? So you'd take a Hyperloop to go somewhere on the weekend or? <laughs> Well, we, we, we believe this could change a, bit, a little bit how 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 we move, mm -hmm. and of course, get a, a weekend getaway trips could could be a, a one way of of evolution, and mm -hmm. and we believe a hyperloop could change the way a people move. They move faster, so in the end, you could take a trip from Madrid to Paris in one hour, one hour and a half, and uh -huh. you, you'd be. Uh, yeah, it, it would be a totally new experience. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's in in several fields it can be a revolution, mm -hmm. and also yeah, in in the way we enjoy life, it's mm -hmm. also it's also possible. That'd be that'd be fantastic. So, I mean, um, you mentioned Paris and Madrid. Um, would would you want to connect to any other pair of cities, or if you could connect any anywhere on Earth, where would you want to connect with a hyperloop? Well, we, we believe there is high potential in connecting uh, the industrial uh, harbors mm. in, in, in Europe uh -huh. because uh, you have harbors in the north of Europe mm. and harbors in the south of Europe, but we believe a powerful connection would be this connect uh, with this connect these uh, harbors in the north in the mm. Mediterranean coast oh, with yeah. also the, the harbors in the north. That would be a really key key step in the in the development in at least in Europe. But mm -hmm. Also, ev everywhere in the world, uh, there are places to connect, and, and we believe this is the, the good thing about Hyperloop, that hmm. there's, there are still many places to connect. Uh, you, I mean, again, you bring up a good point of connecting these big industrial harbors, and um, 
and just imagine the amount of freight that is taken off the road and put into the hyperloop. So it would free up a lot of other infrastructure, perhaps. <laughs> That's it. Um, or rail. Yeah. Um, Talking about capacity, it would capacity. yeah, it would yeah. increase a lot of the cap the capacity of of current uh, mm -hmm. logistic system. So mm -hmm. we believe this is a, a good point. That's amazing. Well, that would be great. Um, so lastly, um, this is kind of a a curveball question, but if if you could ask uh, Elon Musk any question, Hyperloop related or not, what would you what would you want to ask? Well. Uh, I wanted to ask him if if he wants to put his Tesla also inside the <laughs> inside the tubes at 1,000 kilometers per hour. That would, it would be also nice to see be really <laughs> because fun. we saw it in space. But I cannot imagine him making it inside a tube at 1,000 kilometers per hour. So that would be a bit our question if if we can ask. <laughs> that's really funny. That's 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 really creative actually. I never even thought about that. Um, well, well, Juan, thanks so much for taking the time out of your day to join in the Hyperloop. Um, for viewers that want to learn more about uh, Soleros, where would where would be the best place to go? Um, well, of course, you can you can check out our website. We are Celeros.com uh, with Z, <laughs> and uh, yeah. we, you can also check us in LinkedIn, Facebook. We have everything, all, all the social media, so you can check out our or uh, everywhere there. Oh, that's perfect. Well, thanks so much and uh, uh, good luck on the future. Okay, see you. <laughs>